As society develops, it is also everyone's duty to ensure that each member benefits from the gains of development. This is the highlight of social inclusion. As defined by the United Nations Economic and Social Affairs, social inclusion is the process of improving the terms of participation in society for people who are disadvantaged on the basis of age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin, religion, or economic or other status through enhanced opportunities, access to resources, voice, and respect for rights. But it does not stop with participation. Everyone must also reap the benefits. Equity of access is one of the key principles of Australia Awards. The program intentionally designs appropriate interventions to address barriers to participation and provides on-award and or post-award support where participation by women, people with disability, and other disadvantaged members of society is low. Scholars can support this principle by having a Gender Equality and Social Inclusion or GEDC lens in developing their re-entry action plans or REAPs. In 2016, countries around the globe adopted the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. This is to ensure that no one is left behind in the global effort to end poverty and inequality. Through social inclusion, inequality is reduced by calling all countries to pay attention to the needs of the disadvantaged and marginalized. In keeping with this, scholars must design REAPs that enable the participation of persons with disability in society on equal basis with others. This means that persons with disability should have the same access to quality services, buildings, facilities, information, employment, redress, and opportunities to take part in public consultations. Gender responsiveness is another crucial factor in social inclusion. To achieve genuine social progress, the gender and development approach must be integrated in development of programs and policies. The GAD approach stresses the need to challenge gender biases and social constructs brought about by patriarchy and material conditions. Through gender mainstreaming, gender issues are put front and center in the public agenda, ensuring that both men and women act as agents of development. Scholars can integrate gender perspective in their REAPs through the GAD mainstreaming approach with the following steps. Look into gender biases and determine the factors causing these and their effects in the workplace or community. Identify the needs and concerns of women and analyze such through the gender lens focusing on policies, people, programs, projects, and enabling mechanisms. Social inclusion matters as it aids in the realization of one's full potential to eventually take part in nation building. This ultimately paves the way for reducing extreme poverty and hunger boosting shared prosperity for all, and contributing to a just and fair world. For more information, visit www.australiaawards.org.